The James Webb Space Telescope is upsetting the apple cart. All of a sudden we realize that we may have to rewrite all the textbooks about the beginning of the universe. In the darkest corners of our solar system, where mystery and interest collide, lies a celestial secret that has sent shockwaves through the scientific community. Deep within the icy heart of Pluto, something has been discovered, something that defies the laws of astrophysics and catapults us into uncharted territory. These exclusive photos, captured by cutting-edge space probes, have a light scientific confusion. What lies beneath the frozen surface of Pluto? Could these images unlock the key to the universe's greatest secret? Join us on this mind-bending journey as we decode the cryptic messages hidden within the pixels of these Pluto photos. Pluto used to be the ninth wheel in our solar system's planet crew. It's got a cool title as the heavyweight champion among dwarf planets. It resides in the Kuiper Belt, way out past Neptune's turf. There, Pluto hangs out with a bunch of icy and rocky pals, even rubbing elbows with some pretty big comets, each bigger than 62 miles or 100 kilometers. The year 2006 was a big deal for Pluto. That's when it had a bit of an identity crisis in the space world. Astronomers and regular people got into some serious debates when Pluto got downgraded to a dwarf planet. But way before that drama, in 1905, an American astronomer named Percival Lowell started dropping hints about Pluto. Lowell was all about checking out Uranus and Neptune and noticed some weird stuff in their orbits. He thought there was a sneaky celestial body causing the incident. Lowell tried to play detective in 1915, predicting where this mystery planet might be. Unfortunately, he didn't live long enough to see his predictions come true. It wasn't until 1930 that Pluto officially stepped into the celestial limelight. Clyde Tombaugh deserves a big credit for uncovering the secrets of Pluto. He put in some serious hours at Lowell Observatory, and his discovery not only proved Lowell right, but also backed up what other smart astronomers had been saying. Pluto's name has a cool backstory. An 11-year-old girl named Venetia Burney from Oxford, England came up with it. She wasn't just any kid, she had a wild imagination. She pitched the name Pluto to her grandpa, who in turn passed it along to Lowell Observatory. Pluto, it's a nod to the Roman god of the underworld, and it matches Percival Lowell's initials. This little planet is one of the coldest spots in our solar neighborhood, hitting temperatures as low as a mind-numbing, 375 to 400 degrees Fahrenheit. Hubble Space Telescope snapshots reveal Pluto isn't just sitting there doing nothing. There are changes happening on its surface. Out there in space, beyond where our sun shines its brilliance, lies this mysterious traveler. It's called Pluto, and it hangs out a whopping 40 astronomical units away from us. Imagine a celestial loner, almost invisible against the vast cosmic backdrop, wrapped in darkness. Pluto takes a wild ride around the center of our solar neighborhood, completing its loop every 248 Earth years. Pluto with a radius of only 1,188 kilometers. That's way smaller than the big shots in our planetary club. It's like the runt of the litter, not just among the planets, but even compared to some moons, including our own. Scientists with their keen eyes have been keeping tabs on Pluto's every move. They found out it's got a mass of just 1.3 times 10 to the power of 22 kilograms. To put it in perspective, that's only 18 times the mass of our trusty moon. Pluto's more like the cool kids on the block, Eris, Ceres, and Sedna, than the heavyweight planets. In 2006, Pluto got a special title, Dwarf Planet. It's like a cosmic underdog, different from the big shots, but still playing a unique role in our solar system fabric. Pluto's space journey is like a zigzag road trip. In 1989, it swung by the sun, getting as close as 29.7 times the distance between Earth and the sun. A quick pit stop at a scorching beach. It's not sticking around like a car driving away from the starting point. Pluto keeps moving farther from the sun by 21.13. It's taking a detour, reaching about 49.3 times the Earth-Sun distance, making it seem like it's on a long and winding cosmic road. This elusive nature makes Pluto a bit like a distant wanderer among the stars, far from the heart of our solar system. It's like this great space explorer on an epic journey. Even with the powerful Hubble Space Telescope, Pluto remains a challenge to spot. It's this faint, hazy brown disk devoid of any noticeable surface features. 
Trying to study Pluto is like trying to unravel a mystery. It's an enigmatic celestial body, teasing us from the outskirts of the solar neighborhood. In 2006, scientists launched the New Horizons spaceship on a grand mission to Pluto. It's like a cosmic road trip that stretches for nine and a half years, like a slow and steady trek across the vastness of our solar system. Along this interstellar journey, New Horizons didn't just twiddle its thumbs, it snapped some breathtaking photos of Jupiter and zapped them back to us on Earth. Finally, in 2015, after this global journey, New Horizons pulled into the cosmic driveway of Pluto. Think of it like stumbling upon a distant and enigmatic world, a place that had been keeping its secrets close for years. This little spacecraft did more than just sightseeing. It put in some serious hours, making over 400 observations and collecting a whopping 6 gigabytes of crucial data. Getting all that goldmine of information back to Earth wasn't a walk in the park. It took over a year, like waiting for a cosmic postcard to arrive after an epic adventure. New Horizons, on its journey to unravel the mysteries of Pluto, didn't play the usual game of going into orbit around the dwarf planet. Instead, it pulled off an excellent move, a flyby, a celestial orbit. This decision wasn't just about passing by, it was a calculated choice that kept the spacecraft on a mission to explore more cosmic wonders. Before diving into the depths of Pluto's surface, scientists were buzzing with anticipation. What lay beneath that distant exterior was a puzzle waiting to be solved. Their best guess? A hefty core, about 1,700 kilometers wide, comprised of a mix of icy water and rocks. Imagine a hidden world wrapped in a thick layer of ice, almost like Pluto's own cozy winter coat, measuring about 300 kilometers in thickness. And within this frozen fortress, there's a good chance of witnessing intriguing movements in the planet's crust. On the outermost layer, Pluto flaunts a crust made not of solid rock, but frozen gases, nitrogen, methane, and carbon monoxide. As a cosmic crust, a delicate shell encases the enigmatic layers beneath. This multi-layered setup transforms Pluto into a celestial mystery, a captivating global treasure chest. For scientists, it's like an interstellar adventure, a thrilling quest to unveil the hidden secrets guarded by the frozen gases and icy layers. Each layer adds a new chapter to the cosmic story, turning Pluto into a captivating world that beckons exploration, making it a playground for curious scientists eager to unlock its celestial secrets. Pluto is like a cosmic mystery waiting to spill its secrets. Under its frosty exterior, there might be a toasty core generating enough warmth to melt part of the icy layer. Deep down, a hidden underwater world could be lurking, complete with a salty, toxic ocean filled with dissolved ammonia. It's like Pluto has its own secret club beneath that icy shell, where who knows what kind of bizarre happenings might be taking place. Exploring its icy surface is like opening a global treasure chest. It could be hiding a frozen wonderland with temperatures dropping to a bone chilling, 213 degrees Celsius below zero, which is about 60 Kelvin. The Tombaugh Regio is a massive area near Pluto's equator. This standout spot is a real showstopper. It looks just like a big heart, earning itself the adorable nickname, The Heart. This heart-shaped region is no small fry. It covers about 2,300 kilometers, which is a whopping quarter of Pluto's entire surface. Tombaugh Regio, the enigmatic heart of Pluto, is a mesmerizing spectacle. In its western expanses lies the Sputnik Planitia, a sprawling, smooth plain stretching 1,492 kilometers in diameter. This region is like a giant frozen canvas, revealing itself through an elevation map as a vast lowland expanse. It's a captivating window into the dynamic and diverse landscapes of Pluto's chilly realm. The middle part of Tombal Regio, the mysterious heart of Pluto, is like a riddle cloaked in an icy cover. On the surface, a thick layer of frozen nitrogen, carbon monoxide, and solid methane creates an otherworldly scene. These icy materials possess a magical quality, casting a vibrant and bright color palette. It's as if Pluto itself is putting on a dazzling show for anyone lucky enough to witness it. In some spots, this icy layer is so adept at reflecting sunlight that it can bounce back up to an astounding 90% of the light it receives. Tumbal Reggio, as if it's straight out of a fairy tale, bathed in an otherworldly glow that's almost ghostly. It's not just ordinary ice, it's like a captivating spectacle that adds to Pluto's enchanting charm. 
What makes this region truly special is its pure appearance, almost free of craters, suggesting it's relatively young in geological terms. Legend has it that Sputnik Planitia came to be around 100 million years ago in a colossal collision with a celestial giant. This cosmic clash left behind a huge crater, which eventually turned into the reservoir for Pluto's ideal inner ocean. The ocean's contents froze over time, creating the icy plains we now see. Imagine stumbling upon vast flat areas, each about 20 to 30 kilometers wide, like giant icy pancakes with soft bumps and hollows along their edges. It's a bizarre design resembling intricate patterns when liquid warms from underneath, like water boiling in a pot. These patterns tell a fascinating story of Pluto's chilly history. It is a frozen fairy story, where each frosty page unravels the mysteries shaping a distant world. Pluto's secret warmth is hidden beneath its icy surface, like a thrilling clue waiting to be discovered in Tombol Regio's unique landscape. This extraordinary region is like a magical island surrounded by mighty mountain ranges, wrapping it in an air of mystery. To the west of Sputnik Planitia lies the Hillary Montes, reaching impressive heights of three and a half kilometers. Traveling south, it stumbles upon the Townsend Montes nestled in a heart-shaped expanse, where rocky giants proudly stand over six kilometers tall, the loftiest peaks on Pluto. What makes these towering formations even more interesting is that they're thought to be made mostly of solid water ice, as hard as rock, enduring Pluto's bone-chilling temperatures. Venture further south, and its gaze will be captivated by a deep basin embraced by massive layered ridges of ice and rock. Each detail in this celestial story adds layers of interest, painting a captivating picture of Pluto's mysterious charm, waiting to be explored one icy chapter at a time. In the western part, the Hillary Montes mountain ranges stand tall, reaching impressive heights of three and a half kilometers. Venture south, the towns and Montes nestled in a heart-shaped expanse where rocky giants tower over six kilometers above Pluto's surface, claiming the title of the tallest peaks on Pluto. Surprisingly, these towering formations are believed to be made mainly of water ice, solid as rock, standing resilient against Pluto's bone-chilling temperatures. Further south, a deep basin captures attention, surrounded by massive layered ridges of ice and rock. Scientists speculate that this could be the remnants of an ancient cryovolcano, with the surrounding rock representing its frozen eruptions. Resolving the chemical composition of these rocks becomes paramount, holding the promise of unveiling Pluto's internal secrets and offering valuable insights into the celestial body's inner workings. Pluto's story takes a different turn in the eastern part of Tombal Reggio. The land put on a darker color, holding the secrets of a bygone era. The surface is adorned with numerous craters, like ancient marks telling stories from the distant past. This region is a contrast to the youthful Sputnik Planitia, revealing that Pluto, much like Earth's landscapes, has undergone many changes over the ages. Embarking on an adventure toward the sunrise on Pluto, something fascinating catches the eye. The mysterious dark spots, each spreading for hundreds of kilometers. They call them macula, inspired by dark deities from various cultures. One of these enigmatic spots is named Balrog, conjuring images of mythical realms cloaked in darkness. It travels further and these macula come together, forming a colossal celestial structure known as the Brass Knuckles. They wrap around Pluto like a global belt, weaving through towering mountain ranges and deep cracks. The macula's contours are accentuated by these natural features, some stretching across hundreds of kilometers. But the star of the dark spots is Cthulhu Makula, stretching boldly westward from Tombal Regio. It proudly claims the title of Pluto's most significant dark spot, spanning a whopping 3,000 kilometers. Its surface reflects only 30% of the sunlight that graces it, creating a stark contrast against the dazzling Sputnik Planitia nearby. Despite their fame, the true nature of these macula remains a secret, wrapped in their inky darkness. It's like Pluto is keeping its secrets hidden within these colossal shadowy features. Cthulhu Macula is a brooding artist with a palette of tholins, creating a masterpiece with a touch of ancient history. Its surface is a canvas of diversity, featuring rolling western expanses, a smooth central plain, and an eastern domain adorned with broken mountains and craters, like a painting that tells a captivating story. As it ventured northward to Lowell Regio, it was like stepping into a sunlit valley surrounding Pluto's North Pole. Despite the increasing distance from the sun, 
Pluto's unique axial slope makes this area the sunshine hub, creating an interesting appearance. The sunlight works its magic, coaxing nitrogen ice to evaporate, enriching Pluto's atmosphere in a celestial dance that adds another layer to the curious charm of this distant world. As it explored Pluto, it stumbled upon some pretty unique features that make it stand out from its global neighbors. Pluto's doing a perpetual dance, twirling around a fixed point like a cosmic dancer. It's not some invisible force, it's its hefty companion, Charon, a moon with quite the mass. Charon's no lightweight, it's got about 11% of Pluto's weight. They're in the celestial dance-off, spinning around a shared center of mass. It's like they're inseparable dance partners, locked in a gravitational embrace. Because of this global dance, they've become tidally locked, showing each other the same faces forever. Pluto's surface is like a canvas with diverse colors and textures, but Karen is like the mysterious friend in the shadows. It's got this dark side adorned with a fancy mix of water ice, methane, and nitrogen, creating a kind of global fashion statement in certain spots. These two are waltzing through their shared existence, presenting a celestial show that's both captivating and mysterious. As we gaze at Karen, the largest moon in Pluto's posse, its allure captivates us. There are other moon pals like Nix and Hydra, discovered in 2005, each spanning several tens of kilometers. Then there are the smaller ones, Kerberos and Styx, not exceeding 16 kilometers in diameter. These cosmic companions plucked from the far reaches of the Kuiper Belt are mainly made of water ice. Though not all of Karen's secrets revealed themselves to the New Horizons spacecraft, the visible terrain offers a treasure trove of curiosities. South of the celestial equator lies the expansive deity meeting, rivaling the size of an average European nation, spanning a whopping 400,000 square kilometers. And nestled within this grand tableau lies the towering peak of Karen, Kubrick Mons, reaching for the cosmic skies. On the slopes of Karen Kubrick Mons, a colossal mountain dominating the celestial scene, measuring about 40 kilometers across and rumored to reach heights of 4,000 meters, an encircling ditch adds an element of mystery, descending as deep as two kilometers. Some speculate this grand formation might be a remnant of a cryovolcano, its birth inseparably tied to the slow settling of the land under the weight of hidden underground reservoirs. Journeying northward, the landscape undergoes an interesting transformation, unveiling the vast Oz Terra, a rugged realm adorned with craters and separated from Vulcan Planum by a maze of colossal ledges and deep crevices. The dramatic terrain here showcases an elevation shift of approximately a kilometer, each geological marvel telling its own story. Among these wonders, Serenity Chasma steals the spotlight. This immense chasm stretches an impressive 200 kilometers in length, with a width fluctuating between 40 to 50 kilometers. Its depths are nothing short of breathtaking, diving a stunning 7 kilometers into an enigmatic realm. The shadows cast by its steep slopes contribute to the aura of mystery that shrouds this awesome landscape, leaving scientists eager to uncover its secrets. Karen's landscape reads like a captivating cosmic storybook, each contour telling a different story of its past. Venture towards the northern pole and it encounters the Mortar Macula, a whopping 475 kilometers in diameter. The origin of this mysterious mark sparks debates among scientists. The prevailing idea suggests that escaping nitrogen and methane from Pluto's atmosphere got captured by Karen's gravity, settling at its poles. Bathed in ultraviolet radiation, they transformed into tholins, accumulating on Karen's icy surface. It's an interesting theory awaiting validation, promising to be a focus of future missions. Despite our growing curiosity, Karen remains a celestial enigma, its exploration only just beginning. The Pluto-Karen system, one of the solar system's most captivating formations, invites further investigation. Sadly, the New Horizons probe bid goodbye to this cosmic neighborhood some time ago, leaving Pluto and Karen, that distant duo, beyond our reach. As of now, the probe resides more than 50 astronomical units away from Earth, periodically beaming back essential data that illuminates the cosmic depths. However, this dance with the cosmos can't last forever. Around 2030, New Horizons will witness the gradual failure of its systems, embarking on a solo journey through the frigid expanse of the universe. The mysteries of Karen and Pluto, for now, remain distant echoes in the cosmic void.
Thanks for watching another episode of Voyager. While you are still here, make sure to click the video on your screen for more quality content.